Well, Brat, I bet you're wondering why it's taken so long to get another episode of this, and I will tell you that it is because the game broke. And I debated for several days about whether I was going to finish it or not. But I know how much you love to finish a story. So, I uh, did a bunch of rigmarole that probably wouldn't interest you, and I have had to replay <laughs> the whole thing up to this point. <laughs> And now I am moving on. Now, I did get a little bit past this on the original play. So, um, I do know a little bit uh, for a little while here. So, it may look a little speed runny. <laughs> speed run. Oh, man. No, you know I've forgotten everything since because it's been a couple of days. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to get started. Uh, the last episode, we um, managed to get to this western town and uh there are poker dogs hey look the ugly girl wants to play too <laughs> then she has to place her bet she can't play without a bet meow um i believe in the last episode we found out that this coffee will wake you up from your trance so i am not gonna bother that i also already took the mayonnaise jar that was there so um, outside here, um, we've got this courtyard where we have this Mr. Potato looking guy who is a quack doctor. Step right up, step right up and admire the latest accomplishments in modern medicine. Anti-wrinkle cream with skin firming materials from outer space. <laughs> Natural food supplements with amusing motifs from the animal world. A brand new product, the pill for in between for all those who didn't have time before and don't want to wait till afterwards. Step right up, <laughs> marvel at the sights and take a free sample of Alcofix. The exclusive miracle treatment with an alcohol base. It tastes 100 proof and works 100 proof. Hello, little lady. Are you interested in a sample bottle of Alcofix, the miracle brandy? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> hmm. You actually look pretty healthy to me, and I'm afraid even Alcofix won't fix that problem with your ears. Do you have any bad pains? Incurable genetic diseases? Tinnitus? Hepatitis? Cervical cancer? Uh-uh. Hmm. Yeah. I'm so sorry for you, but I can't give you a sample of Alcofix like you are now. Come back when you're sick. All right. So, we've got to make ourselves sick. And I, I know how to do that already. <laughs> um, over here. Oh, wait, no. Ah, here we go. Prairie. Over in the prairie, we can make the sun move. And uh, that basically changes time. So what we're going to do to make ourselves sick is we're going to put the mayonnaise in the sun on the sundial and fast forward till we have rotten mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, rancid mayonnaise, which... Lily looked around. Why was there never anyone around to stop you from doing something when you needed it the most? <laughs> Ooh. This is really gross. <laughs> so now she's sick. <clears throat> um, let's see, we talked to this vulture, and uh, he's not really saying a whole lot yet. Okay, so back to the courtyard to get some Alka fix. Step right up. Step right up and admire the latest of anti ring Yeah, 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 yeah. For yeah. Step and take a f it tastes so. Oh, no, don't bother coming any closer. Not unless you've picked up a contagious disease since I last saw you. Uh-huh. Do you have any bad pains? Incurable genetic diseases? Tinnitus? There we go. Why, hello. What do we have here? A rash. <laughs> You've really caught something very special there. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. This definitely qualifies you to test a sample of Alcofix, the miracle brandy. To be honest, 
You almost look overqualified. Oh, Your dear. mouth is so severe. I'm not sure even Alcafix can heal it. Bravo! You might as well just take the entire bottle. All right. So, now we got a bottle of Alcafix. Okay. So, we can go back to the Western Village. And we can go back to the saloon. And we have this bottle of Alcafix. The color of the bottle reminded Lily of someone. You must not touch alcohol. Huh? Had that bottle just talked? All right, so we're going to take this medicine and stick it in some ice. Huh? <laughs> Are you completely nuts? You could easily get sick and cold. Which does, which doesn't mean that I'm sick, and I don't need this this alcoholic devil stuff either. <laughs> All right, so uh, remember we blew our nose in this thing. It looks real gross. The red chunks in the handkerchief were perhaps a clue that Lily needed medical help. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to give this handkerchief to him and make him think he's sick. Oh, th th thanks. You're welcome. Uh, what's that? You're sick. Quick, the medicine. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> So yum, finally. <laughs> All right. Tasty. So nice. So nice. Isn't that nice? <clears throat> the genie had broken his own rule. Apparently, it was okay to have a swig or two in certain situations. <laughs> All right. Uh, what you doing? Oh no. Okay. So now we can drink alcohol. This jazz music really does remind me of Twin Peaks. Okay. So once we get back, now we've got alcohol and we can drink some. Oh. Yeah. You must not touch alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I gotta turn that off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. What's the matter? Is something wrong with your drink? Uh -uh. <laughs> Hmm. What's the matter? It tastes great. That bubbling in your lungs is... Uh... <laughs> wugga, wugga, wugga. All right, now we needed the change out of this thing that we couldn't open for the collection jar. Well, he's pounding the, uh, the bar here, so now we know to put this right here. Oh, boop. There, now we can get change. Which we can now use to buy one of these fishies. Waga, waga, waga! This head disappeared for a minute. This game is glitchy. I promise you, John Lee, if this thing glitches one more time in such a way that I have to try and go back and fix it, you're just going to be out of luck. <laughs> we'll find somebody else that does the playthrough has more uh, stick to than I do. Waga, waga, waga! <laughs> All right, so now we've got the fish. So now we're going to go get that map. Um, by blowing into this thing because we've had a sip of alcohol now, remember? And the only way he'll let me in that cell is if he arrests me for being drunk. What's this? That's me being You're drunk. As drunk as a skunk. 
Yeah. Come on. How, how drunk Off just goes get you reckon? With you. Get in there. Shame on you. Now you're in the lockup. Let this be a lesson to you. Drinking at your age. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Shamey, shamey. And finally, there it was. The map. Finally. Lily was excited. Me too. A hamster. <laughs> so that was the mystery behind the escaping map. Maybe Lily had finally found a new friend. <laughs> but maybe everything was as before. I've seen that hamster before, obviously, but this time I got a good look at it. It looked like it was almost <laughs> bionic. All right, so here's our map. And Edna finally, hides here. There it was, the map. Edna had hidden in this cave by Moore Lake. Mm -hmm. But wait a second. Lily already knew that. Great. The map was, in reality, pretty useless. Yeah. Especially when Lily thought about everything she had done to get her hands on it. Mm. How vexing. Okay. So now we need to get out. Oh. What's the matter? You've already had enough of the filtered air? You should have thought of that before reaching for the bottle. Yeah, let mm -hmm. that be a lesson to you, John Lee. Oh, come on. Don't be so sad. That's exactly the kind of behavior that once made me release Edmund the Slasher. You can't even imagine how much trouble I got into for that. It took weeks until little Melanie's parents spoke to me again. Huh? Oh, I'm just too soft-hearted. I'll let you go. But you have to promise me never to get into trouble again. Can you do that? I can. But it's a lie. You must not lie. And I must not lie. All right. So, notice he's standing here, so time to oogie woogie. <laughs> Woo! The ball of wool! Ooh. Can I see it again? Yes! Uh-huh. Woogie! <laughs> woogie! Phone's ringing, hang on. Well... Thanks for calling, John Lee. <laughs> All right. Now. Gotta get out of this jail cell. Hi, Lily. Don't tell me you want to get out. Uh-huh. I thought so. But you'd hardly be sitting in there if you knew how to behave properly, right? How dare you? Uh-huh. Be quiet. You weren't about to contradict me, were you? Uh-huh. Well, I can't object to that. <laughs> Contradictions are great. Sometimes I start contradicting at breakfast. For example, three slices of toast. Yum, delicious toast. Um, 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 um. Uh, but, but that would be a lie. And we both know. You must not lie. Lies are evil. Evil? What? Of course lying is evil. Wait, I'll show you on this blackboard. Take a close look at this board. Take a close look, John G. It shows some of the basic principles of our legal system. For example, that lying is evil. There you go. Um. What do you mean? No. Of course lying is evil. Everybody knows lying is it evil. It can easily be deduced from the four top principles. There you go. God is good and true. Amen. But the devil is evil and has great wisdom. God is truth because he is full of wisdom too. But the devil lies with all of his evil. That's why lies are always evil. There we go. You can construct the chain of logic leading to this conclusion yourself. Yeah. It only takes three small steps to get the result. All right. You can try it yourself. And now I wish I'd written this down because I've done this before now and I've already forgotten what it is. All right. God is good and true. Uh, God is truth because he's full of wisdom. 
Is that what I want? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Good wisdom. Okay. Yes. All right. That's magical. Indeedy do. So we got good wisdom, and uh, the devil is evil with great wisdom. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. That's magical. Okay, so good evil. All right. Lies are good. Lies are what? Good. Lies are good. Especially lies like I that love your outfit. No, your uh, hair looks fine. Everything seems to fit. <laughs> but, but that's Justice <laughs> is dead. Apparently, Justicia was uh, wrong. Justicia. It seemed that lies weren't so bad after all. Lily had removed another block. Huzzah and good fortune. So now we can lie. Oogie. Look. Alright, time to fib. Hey! Oh, come on. I'll let you go, but you have to. Can you do that? I can and I shall. Uh -huh. So you promise? No more trouble, okay? I promise. Uh -huh. And you're not fibbing? Uh uh. No. Okay then. I guess I'll just have to believe you then. Sounds Welcome good. Welcome to freedom. <laughs> Alright. Let this be a lesson to you. Uh-huh. As long as it's still dark outside, you should really stay indoors. It's much too dangerous out there at night. Huh? It's best to just stay at home. Okay. I can lie. I can drink. I can contradict adults. But really? Okay. Where are you going? You heard that it's dangerous out there. You must not hang around dangerous places. There are so many other nice places for children to visit. Right. At a spelling bee. Spelling for bees are so nice. Or a Rolf Harris concert. Rolf. Mm. I meant to look up Rolf Harris. Hang on just a second. I gotta look up Rolf Harris. Okay, I guess the reason that that is supposed to be funny is because Rolf Harris was a major uh, Australian entertainer that was uh, convicted of uh, sexually assaulting underage girls. So, is it really funny? I don't think so. All right. I'm going to go ahead and hypnotize this bunny. Only I guess he's hypnotizing me, isn't he? All right, so now we're back in the Old West. Remember, if we drink the coffee, we wake up, so we're going to leave that for now. And what have we got? A whole lot of nothing. Okay, we've talked to this gold digger. He's not going to go anywhere because he's afraid to take us to his stash. Um. Howdy, stranger. Howdy. What's a nice little girl like you doing in a rough place like this? That is Wait. strictly none of your You're business. You're not here for the gold rush, too, are you? <laughs> well, then you might as well just pack up your bags again. The only gold around here is in my mind. And I'm the only one who knows the way there. Plus, you can't get in there right now anyway. Why can't you? Go. I knew it. You're after my gold. Oh, for sure. Well, you can just forget it. My Forget gold what? mine is good <laughs> and hidden. And even if you found it, you wouldn't get in. The entrance is guarded by a Wendigo. Lily wasn't interested in the mine, but this Wendigo made her curious. Me Could too. he be another manifestation of her behavioral blocks? Oh, I Perhaps bet he could. it would be worthwhile to look for the mine after all. What a great idea. Tell me about well, the Wendigo. You don't know what a Wendigo is, do you? Uh-uh. Well, I don't know much myself. It's some kind of Indian demon. 
That's stopping me from getting into my mind. If you want to know more, you need to ask the shaman. He's knocking around shaman. here somewhere. All right. Every time I hear the word Wendigo, I think of that Ogden Nash poem about the Wendigo. Last night, it lurked in Canada. Tonight on your veranda. <laughs> the Wendigo, the Wendigo. I saw it just a friend ago. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyway. Okay. So tell me about the Should shaman. The shaman? No idea. I never met him personally. Me neither. Sometimes I see his smoke signals on the horizon. That's it. But if anyone can tell you about Wendigos, it's him. Fantastic. Okay. So here's what I need to do. I need to make sure I do everything well, I'm supposed to because... It. The way to my mind is top secret. Even I have trouble remembering it. Hmm. I should actually ride over there again. Yeah, you should. Um, the... The uh, way this game ended up breaking was because I did something out of order. And it soft locked me out of talking to the shaman about the Wendigo. And that ended it. Uh, there was no getting no getting around that. So I want to make sure I don't. Lily was an intro, but this could he perhaps. So I want to make sure I don't leave anything undone or messed up. Okay, so I'm going to go down here. There is uh, no one to talk to here, but I can look into the As fire. As Lily stared into the flames, she suddenly became dizzy. Hello! Hi, Lily. Hi. Did you enjoy your little excursion? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Huh? Is that you, little girl? What are you doing in limbo? Don't tell me you're... Hey. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, dear. You poor little thing. Right. I hope you remembered to get someone to put coins for the ferryman on your eyes. I did uh -huh. not. That's just terrible. Isn't it's it? It's hard to pass through limbo without any pocket change. And unfortunately, there's only one way to bring worldly goods into the spirit realm. Or with you in a trance state, you place them on the eyes. Okay, so now I need coins on eyes. There's nothing else to do in this area. So, back to the Western Village I go. And back into the saloon. Now, these guys won't let me get a cigar. Unless I play poker. I can't play poker because I don't have any money. So what I need is money. Now, if you'll remember, if I drink coffee, I wake up. I was in the, uh, the jail. So I've come over here to drink this coffee to wake up in the bar. Lily wasn't sure if someone as young as her should drink coffee, but there was no behavioral block, so it was probably okay. Probably. Coffee's real good. I like coffee a lot. Here we go. Wake up, a little Lily. Wake up. All right, so now we still got this guy Incredible. here. Incredible. The coffee was so strong that it jarred Lily out of her trance. Okay. <laughs> Hang on just a second, John Lee. Okay, I had to replay a portion of it again because I forgot to pick up the pump when I needed to, and I got, I would have been, I'm basically locked in this room or the other room, and I couldn't get outside to get to the pump, so that's another lovely little soft lock mess up that I am not pleased with, and if you weren't so addicted to uh, seeing the, the end of stories. Day, God created blowfish and no one was there to praise him <laughs> oh oh I'm vexed now all right so here's the bartender we are going to give him this and tell him we want the knockout poison smile wugga, 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 wugga. Okay. 
and then we're gonna Wanda, give it to Wanda, him. Wanda, Wanda. This game is so broken. Honest it? to goodness. There, now he's dead. All right, so we're gonna put coins the on his eyes. The seemed to be sleeping off a skinful. Lily kept the idea at the back of her mind. Oh, oh, you're not gonna let me do it until I'm supposed to find out about it? You're not gonna lock me out of something? I am astonished, truly. Okay, so. Where are you going? Where I want. You heard that it's dangerous out there. It's dangerous in you here. Must not hang around <laughs> dangerous places. I'm in a dangerous there are place so already. Many other nice places for children to visit at a sport. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So. Hypnotizing time. Alright. So now we've got the dead bartender. We can't put the coins on his eyes yet because uh, I had to replay and I hadn't talked to the gal yet about putting coins on the eyes. So I'm going to have to go back and do that. Make sure I'm marked for uh, well, I hope I remember not to change it from I can lie. Okay. Huh? Is that you, little girl? It what are is. you doing in limbo? Don't tell me you're... Hey! Uh-huh. Oh, dear. You poor little thing. I hope you remember to get someone to put coins for the ferryman on your eyes. Uh-uh. That's just terrible. It's hard to pass through limbo without any pocket change. And unfortunately, there's only one way to bring worldly goods into the spirit realm. Or with you in a trance state, you place them on the eyes. All right. So now that I know that, I can go back. <laughs> to the bar. Wake myself up and put coins on this dead guy's eyes. <laughs> All right. Coins for you. Lily put the money on the bartender's eyes. Since he was sleeping, she only left him a small tip. All right. Where now back to the money. Or... Time to Oogie Woogie. It's the Oogie Woogie Bunny oh, Boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. How you feeling there, dead guy? Well, if it isn't the little girl from the bar. Hey. Look what I've got here. Someone put money on the eyes of my mortal remains. It was me. It's more than enough to pay the ferryman. Go oh, ahead, good. Take the rest. Thanks, I'm not man. Around. Maybe I'll crawl out of one or two more TV screens. <laughs> but then it's off to eternity for me. Excellent. Good for you, buddy. All right. It's more than enough to pay the ferryman. Go ahead, take the rest. Shoop. All right. So now I've got coins to get into this poker game. Ah, Madame is making her move. Madame. I guess that means she wants to play. Wag, wag. What are you waiting for? I wag my tail, but I'm happy. Come on now. Because I'm a dog. Jonas. Five seconds later. <laughs> oh boy, you're by far the most miserable poker player I've ever seen. <sighs> you didn't even smoke your cigar. Don't forget to take it. I have fleas. I will take the cigar. All right. Now. <sighs> I have. No, why don't I keep ending up in the courtyard? Dad gummit. I want to go to the prairie, please. And thank you. Okay, now, uh, John Lee, if you were going to send a smoke signal with an unlit cigar, uh, would you or would you not try to find a way to light said cigar? Because I spent an enormous amount of time in the original playthrough trying to find a way to light that silly thing when all I had to do was apparently 
chuck it at the smoke signal. Burp? <laughs> Burp? Lily interpreted the strange smoke signals to mean that the shaman was looking for a totem pole. As nice as she was, she decided to help him with it. Yeah. All right. Now, this is a weird little puzzle, and I have uh, forgotten <laughs> exactly which way to do it. Uh, basically, what you do is you tell the guy wait to either go through the tunnels or whatever. Um, and frankly, I am going to skip it because... I can't. There. <laughs> Thanks. You're the welcome. The shaman had finally arrived at the totem pole. Lily was looking forward to visiting him. Finally, she would meet the mysterious medicine man. Yeah. Now, let's see if he'll tell me what I needed. Honestly, if uh, I'm locked out of getting what I need this time, uh, we're done. I'm really, <laughs> are really done. All right, buddy. Tell me what I need to know. Mom, AFK, R E. <gasps> Unlocked. Oui. Auto completion. Did you mean Wendigo? Uh huh. Wait. Got it. Wigwampedia entry. Wendigo. The Wendigo. Omnivore. Also, Wendigo, plural Wendigos, demon from Anishinaabe mythology. Wendigos are considered to be especially stubborn and inflexible. FYI, they stink horrendously. Lol. No, oh, hang on just a second. Old lady wiener dogs making a fuss. All right, how do we bump him off? Auto completion. Did you mean weapon against Wendigos? Yes, I did. W8, just getting it on TP Bay. <laughs> Print order confirmation. Yes, no, cancel. Uh -huh. Print. Here, apparently, there is only one effective method to combat Wendigos. Give this recipe to the quack doctor. He should have received the order. I hacked his Wi-Fi, and while you're at it, <laughs> I ordered something on Appalachia Zone. It's, um, not really for me. I clicked on a pop-up by accident, but seeing as you're going there anyway, can you pick it up for me? Thanks. All right. Sm Auto completion. Did you mean smoke signal? Uh-huh. Ruffle, those aren't real smoke signals. My router just ran a little router? hot in this prairie heat. Now you probably want to know what kind of server I'm running, right? Uh-uh. It's Apache. <sighs> All right. Let's go talk to the quack doctor. And get this show on the road, man. <laughs> Look here. I've got something for you, Quacky. Ah, a prescription? Yes. Wonderful. Why, now, thank you. Let's see. Yes, I received this order here. And while you're at it, I have a delivery for the shaman here. Would you mind taking it to him? Oh, why, yes. There was a can in the package. Lily was excited. Hair removal cream. <laughs> what do we got? Hair removal cream and deodorant. Okay. All right. Hair removal cream for the shaman. I didn't order that. There has to be a mistake. Okay. Ozone next for Wendigo Whack with an extra dose of FCKW. I don't need it. If you don't move, you won't sweat. <laughs> Lily had pictured the shaman somewhat differently. Smaller. <laughs> All right. Now, I need this junk food. So I shall take it. And the reason I know I need it is because I've already used it once. And that is what locked me from having the Wendigo conversation, apparently. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this. Actually, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to stick. Stick the. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I talk to this vulture enough to make sure I haven't messed anything up. Yeah, yeah. Me. Right the back at you. <laughs> Tell me, uh, you weren't planning on decaying in the next couple of days. No, I wasn't uh -huh. thinking of it, no. Uh, oh, well. No problem, huh? I should be cutting down on carcasses anyway. My dietician is a pulling his hair out. More <laughs> fresh and fruit, he says. I have a salad and no ends in. I know all that. But what can I do, huh? I just love that rotten stuff. Yep. I just had to smell the rotting flesh. And I start circling. And honestly, out here in the desert, huh? It's hard to maintain a healthy diet. You try uh, and leave something for later, and the bacteria just move right in. You could uh, get the most horrible diseases, huh? Festering boils. Uh, Oozing eczema. Gross. Oh, man. oh, this talk of food has made me hungry. Please, uh, leave me alone with my growling belly. <laughs> okay, so now we have visited with him. Uh, we can take this food. And we can slip it into the saddlebag. Lily secretly put the junk food secretly. into the saddlebag. It was going to be a surprise. All right, so now I can just go in here. Well, I can go any number of places. I'll go in here. And hopefully, by the time I go back out, he'll be gone. Nope. Okay, we'll try here. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Hope you're having a great time. Nope, he's still there. Okay. Hi there, Shaman. Are you having a great time? Hope so. Hope so. He's still there. <laughs> okay. Um. How do you get your here to bug? Forget. Okay, there's nothing else I need to talk to. Maybe I need to. No? Okay, we'll go out to the prairie. See if that helps. Maybe. Make the time different. That'll do it. Hmm. Am I stuck again? Oh, crikey. Are you kidding me right now with this? Okay. Let's see. I will... I'll wake myself up and try to go back in and see if he won't be gone then. I swear to you, John G, this is very vexing. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where are you hurt your lot there is at us or oh, okay. All right. Now is he gone? Nope. Okay. As Lily stared into the flames, she suddenly became dizzy. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Did you enjoy your little excursion? Uh-huh. Why is he not gone? Okay. Um. Howdy. You're here. Forget. Forget the way to my even. Oh. oh, now that I put the idea of him going there, maybe he'll go. Okay. Oh. My gold mine is good and hidden. Oh, I should actually ride over there again. You should. Ah, oh, Jiminy Christmas, finally. Okay. So, remember, we put the food in the saddlebag, so now the food rots, and the vultures circle the rotting food. So we go back here. Oh, and now we see where the vultures are. The vultures are. were circling <laughs> above a particular spot. On the horizon. Yeah. That was probably where the gold digger's mine was located. Yeah. There we go. And now we have our friend the Wendigo. Oof. 
gracious. Oh, here she is, our demon killer. Huh? Did I surprise you? I know what you've done to my brethren. But you won't succeed with me. Bet me. I'm always on guard. Oh, yeah. And you should be too. Do you see the mine back there? I do. I'm going to go in there. I know why I stay away from it. Why? It's about to collapse, and the suspended bridge is wobbly. And it's as dark as a buffalo's butt. Who knows what dangers lurk there. So I'd rather stay out here, in the sun, where it's safe. Nothing and no one can budge me from here. Nor for my opinion, dangerous locations are no place for little children. No matter what you say. The shaman was right. The mm. Wendigo was really a stubborn fellow. Mm. And he stank so much that the thought of a buffalo's butt was a welcome relief. Yikes. Okay. So he's out here in the sun. Can we deodorize him? Are you crazy? Stop that. Those spray cans contain tons of CFCs. If that stuff gets into the atmosphere, we'll have an ozone hole here in no time. You don't want a hole in the ozone layer, do you? Uh-uh. You see? Okay. Yeah, we can spray that it right into the so sky. It was so hot that the air <laughs> smelled of ozone. Oh, okay. But even back here, the fragrances of summer couldn't compete with the Wendigo stench. Okay. Lily decided to do something about it. <laughs> oh, the sky looks strange. I broke it. It could be an ozone hole approaching. Yep, I broke That's the sky. That's not good. No, you're Where's right. Where's my suntan lotion? Ah, uh, there it is. I'd better leave it outside. Yeah. Safe is safe. Safe is safe. That bottle looks a heck of a lot like a hair removal cream. Boop. Uh-oh, it's starting. Yeah. Oh, apply the lotion. It's Sauron. Oh. <laughs> that sounded gross. There. Naked Windigo coming up. <laughs> what a drag. Oh, the burn him to a crisp. The sun badly damaged the Wendigo. Apparently, nowhere was safe. Oh, that that's... meant it was inevitable to spend time in dangerous places. Yep. Hooey! All right. Even the old lady wiener dogs are getting sick of this nonsense, Janji. All right, that's the end of this episode. We can go in, and next time we shall go in. And hopefully it'll be smooth running from here on out. Wooey! Oh. <laughs> I swear to my time. <laughs> Bye, rat!